Welcome to episode 4 of our Just One More Thing series. In this episode, I'll discuss how I added a DCDU to the cockpit to allow communication with online air traffic controllers via CPDLC. CPDLC stands for Controller Pilot Data Link Communication and allows pilots and controllers to communicate via text messages instead of using voice communication over the radio. In the Airbus A320, CPDLC is implemented through specific pages in the MCDU and via dedicated units located on the main instrument panel and called DCDUs, which stands for Data Link Control and Display Units. The DCDU includes not only a small screen to display the CPDLC messages, but also several buttons to interact with the unit. My goal was thus to implement both, but short of using a real unit, I couldn't find a functional replica ready to use for cockpit builders. So I decided to get a little creative yep. and thought about using a touchscreen to reproduce both the display and the push buttons. Luckily, I was able to find a small 5-inch touchscreen that would just fit in the rather limited space available for the DCD. After some quick tests to validate the concept, I worked with Virempot, the supplier of my home cockpit, to have them customize the standard blank faceplate with a cutout matching exactly the size of the screen I found. Due to the space limitations, I had to cut the small tabs on the side of the touchscreen. Those are typically used for mounting the screen with screws, so I had to find another way to attach the touchscreen to the back of the faceplate. Ultimately, I used a few balsa pieces and some epoxy glue to assemble everything together the best I could. And voila! The unit was ready to install. It connects to the first officer computer via HDMI for the display and via a USB connection for the touch functionality. Note that a second USB connection is required as well in order to power the unit. CPDLC is mostly used at higher altitudes for non-time critical messages and is not necessarily offered by every center or radar controller. Still, I've been able to use it on several online flights to receive ATC instructions or even to provide position reports when flying over the ocean. For now, the oral alert you get when receiving a message does play in the cockpit, but the ATC message buttons located on the wings of the glare shield are not implemented quite yet. Just one more thing to do, I guess. Well, before I get to that project, please make sure to subscribe so that you get notified when I release future episodes. In the meantime, enjoy the virtual sky. Keep them as a souvenir here. Okay, for adventure. Nine five, Tango Whiskey requesting step climb, flight level three five zero. Um, that's all good. Nine five, Tango Whiskey climb. Flight level